Okay, we're going to go over looking for property. Um, that particular one here that I've copied and pasted. It's going to be 302 North 11th Street in Bessemer City, North Carolina. First thing I want to do is actually drive the area. I'm familiar with this area also because it's um, relatively near. It's in the same county I live in. I want to get down. I want to look at this neighborhood a little bit. Um, we actually have made an offer on another piece of property on up this way on the house. So we're a little bit familiar with it. I see some apartments. That's the note when you're looking at things. Uh, when I get down on this street where he actually is, it appears to be single family homes. This is connected to this house. So that's several vehicles connected to one house. These are single families. Um, I want to actually get down the street, look at the house, looking at the neighborhood, drive right up the street here, take a look at the neighborhood. So there's some older homes. Everybody's yard is pretty well kept. Come back down here. Again, I see our home right there. It's our target home. Drive on down here a little bit. What I also, we'll do sometimes is uh, the ability to drive down here. I can look maybe back at the backyard. It's relatively open. Of anybody truly behind me. This will concern me a little bit. But, um, again, I don't know how old this picture is, so that could be rehab now. Let's go on down and just check out the rest of the neighborhood. Again, everything looks pretty well kept up. Older homes, but they're kept up well. I'm going to back out of this now. Look at some of my sites. Um, Zillow is an excellent site to look at. Truly is one. Also, Realtor.com. That's the latest grace will let me know that it's still available um, it says sold price not available actually because I spoke with the realtor on the phone I do know that this house is still available and is up for purchase I know that an investor went in there that had the house as a rental for some period of time and has fixed it up and is now trying to sell it and I know it's now going on Zillow I know that it's been on the market for 145 days. So it's been on the market a little while. One thing I want to look at is the pictures is the first thing. I can see they were putting on a new roof and after speaking with the realtor I know that the new roof's done. Everything is pretty well done on this house. Um, new appliances in there. The wood flooring is not brand new, but it's not that old, according to the realtor. This is the one bath in the home, which is uh, ideally we would like to have two. This one doesn't have that. This house is listed for $65,000. Um, this price increase tells me that it may have been actually purchased at one time for sixty and re pairs placed in it and they've raised the price. It's single family, it's a thousand square foot, lots eleven thousand square foot, so it's relatively small. It's built in nineteen seventy nine. Last sold in April oh seven for fifty two thousand. Now some of the things I would look at in these pictures get back out of that. Some of the things I want to look at in some of these pictures is the landscaping. Now I probably would do a little more to the landscaping. Again, you're looking at walls. Walls would need to be a neutral color. Definitely something you'd want to do. The light fixtures look well. Appliances are in there. Cabinets look well. Um, look at some of this. Cabinets look pretty well. Bathroom looks like it's been updated, which is a, a big plus. Don't have to worry about that. The next thing I want to do is, is determine the value of this property. Zillow is really neat in that I can come down here. The white thing is denotes that this is my property. I see one right here on the corner. That was that white house that, that we looked at. 
it's a pending sale of fifty four nine. Um, the list price on it. You can tell that it's been somewhat remodeled. And actually, I've talked with the agent on this property, and it has been sold or pulled off the market by the bank. Uh, this one obviously has a pull, so and it's a two two instead of a three two. And you've got a. Uh, thousand dollars price for that and that one actually has come down over the, over a period of time we also have house here that is for sale and I'm very well with this familiar with this house and that we talked with the realtor on this one it's being remodeled a little bit but it needs a lot more work so it's not really a good comp um, even though the, it's a three one thousand square foot the condition of it is nowhere near ours. Now, I do have, let's see, when this $9,000 that was sold in 2010, it's a 3 2 1100 square feet. Another area that we can look at is right here. See similar sales. You hit this distance. Thing, it will bring up the ones that's closest. Here's a 3 1 hours built in 79. This one was built in uh, 85. It's 53,000. That's a pretty that's a pretty good comp right there. And we can actually look at that comp if we click on it. Now, one thing I will say is ours is brick. Obviously, this one is not. This one has not been fixed up, so that's several things to keep in mind. It says it's been remodeled, three bedroom, one bath, new vinyl side and H back. When I look at the pictures, apparently these these pictures were taken prior to the remodel, so let's say it, this would be a very good on target comp. Um that sold last year for fifty three thousand. So we can use that as a comp back to our thing and another one right here so right here is Tennessee Avenue about three quarters of a mile away sold in May as a 3-1 um, it was an auction ended up selling for 94.5 We have another uh, comp here that may be good. Now this would be good. This one's actually smaller. This one's 845 square foot. It's a 3 1. Um, lots and lots of updates. Uh, new central heat and air. A few fresh paint. Price reduced from 65 to 49 for quick sale. Um, and it ended up actually selling for 60000 they actually got above asking on that. So that's a very good comp. So we've got at least two good ones at 60 and 53. We can go back, continue to look a little bit. Um, what this one looks like. It's um, another one that has been uh, updated throughout. 3-1, 1100 square foot, it's close, 75. So we have three good comps. One is at 75,000, one at 60,000, and then one at 53,000. And our particular property, get back to it like that, it's listed for 65. So he's pretty well on target. He has been on Zillow a while been on the market a little bit so I may want to bring it down to uh, say 60,000 as as my after repaired value now this particular one you're gonna need to paint it's a thousand square foot you're looking at probably no more than 2,500 to paint um, 
maybe 500 on landscaping. So let's say we're going to put an additional 3,000 in it. We can go to our property analyzer. ARV is 60,000. Um, we want to put in $2,500 repairs. I should do the painting and what landscaping we need. Um, we want to make a $10,000 profit on it. It's going to be $29,500. And we can put our fifteen in there. The most we can offer on this house is $24,500 to make the numbers work for us. And that gives our company a $15,000 profit. So you can tell you just it, it's a matter of finding your target price property and continue to look and uh, find the comps in the area and, and you can do that through this map down here as well as the similar sales nearby gives you all of them if for some reason you couldn't find your comp another thing you could do we were talking about down here that you've got a couple houses for sale all these agents that's got these houses on the market ask them about your property tell them you're looking at a different property and get their opinion of the neighborhood and what they think the property can sell for chances are they may have been in your property so there's many different avenues obviously always contact your realtor and let them give you information as well take your personal knowledge of the area as well as the comps that you can pull off of Zillow or Trulia